All right, I don't know why I decided to make a video on this. This is a cool software pattern. It's really useful if you ever need to build out some type of thing that has a bunch of optional tack on functionality. So what I'm gonna try to do is give you a really obscure example called uh, class builder. And we're just gonna try to build out some console logs. So down here, I will say output is equal to new builder. And we're gonna try to find a way to interact with this builder so that it can give us a nice looking design that we can maybe render out to our React component down here. So the first thing I was gonna do is we're gonna make a constructor and we're gonna just store some internal state, right? So I'll say like output, okay? This could be a string. And then when this thing is first initialized, I'll say this.output is equal to an empty string, okay? I guess technically I could just initialize this here if I wanted to, that's also how you could potentially do it. But the idea is I wanna be able to tack on new lines and have like different designs. So let's just go ahead and say like, we wanna do a public function and what this is gonna do is gonna tack on something to the output. I'll just go ahead and say like, we're gonna do some like uh, some slashes in and out. Okay, so it's gonna be like a, a tree that goes down, okay? You kind of have to return the entire like instance of the object so you can kind of keep tack and stuff on, right? So if I say out, and then finally I could potentially have like a finish or a complete or a final, finalize, it's up to you. And then we wanna just go ahead and return that output. So I'm gonna say out and I'll say finalize. So if I run this, this should just make like a, a, a TP, right? Let's go back to this and we have a TP here, okay? But now let's add some more methods. Let's just go ahead and add one called in and that'll be the opposite direction. So like I'll do double slash and I'll do this, okay? And then let's just play around with this. Let's just go ahead and say like, let's do out, out, in, in, you can like chain things together. And then finally, when you want the finalized output, you just like call complete or done. And that'll kind of like help you build up what you're trying to do with your, your interface. Now, obviously this looks pretty weird. I wanted to make this be like horizontal. So I'm gonna go ahead and every time we append something, I'm just gonna pin a new line here like that. So now this is all one line, but let's say we wanna make this like multi-line. So we could potentially do like new line characters at the end as we're appending stuff, but this won't work within React because like this is not gonna put the new line characters. So what we could potentially do is just put a text area here and I could say value is equal to output. I think that should hopefully show it. And then here we could say text is black. Just give like some fixed height and width to this so like the new line characters will work. All right, here's the thing that we're trying to build up, okay? Is we could potentially have levels. So I guess like private depth is equal to zero. And depending on the depth that you are, um, like every time you build up, you could say this.depth plus plus. You do it here too. So like as you keep calling these builder functions, you just keep on going further down with your depth. And n could be depth minus minus or something. Again, this is the most convoluted example. So like I'm just trying to show you like how you can potentially play around with, you know, ESX classes and object-oriented programming to build out this type of pattern. Obviously this example is not gonna help you succeed in life. Let's go ahead and just try to, as we're incrementing and decrementing the depth, we're gonna go ahead and say new array. And we're gonna say the this.depth. And then we're gonna fill it with the values here. I think this would be good. Um, and then we'll say join with empty strings and then we'll concatenate that with the new line character. All right, let's just go ahead and replace this. Now, as you call out, we'll go more down in depth. And as you call in, you'll go back up. So I don't know if this is gonna work. Let's call it three times and go in and go back out and uh, see what happens. Uh, it would probably help if I started depth at one so that like it would actually do something. And second thing, we should probably do this inside the component itself because it's getting cached. Um, I'm really not sure why there's so many different things here. It's kind of weird. Oh, I have a new line character here. Let's delete that, oops. All right, so here, there we have it. So now you have like this interesting pattern, which I think if we did like a text align center here, that might actually make it look nicer. I, although I don't know you can do a text center on the input itself. Oh, you can. Okay, so now we got like this weird interface that allows you to keep going out and going back in. You can go out, go in again. Let's say you wanted to add like a line and then you want to go in some more. Like this is like the, the cool thing about the pattern and you can actually get more complex. You could actually get like recursive in here. So I could say like a new builder and you can do like more things if you wanna have like nested objects, but let's not get that uh, intricate. So let's just go ahead and like do this. And we're gonna say output is gonna be equal to like a bunch of these. 
in a new line character. Okay, we'll leave depth alone. And uh yeah. Put the line up at the top here. Okay, so you can like add lines in here. Um, and that's that's all I really want to show you all. But I do think it's something very interesting that um you can learn and once you recognize the pattern, as you're using more libraries, you may see this type of pattern play out in a couple of other libraries. I just wanted to share that with you all because I just thought about it randomly. And I thought, you know what? This is one cool design pattern that I've seen a couple of times in my career, and I think it is kind of cool to understand. So that's kind of like the gist of it. If you ever see some type of interface where you can kind of like do a bunch of stuff chained together, and then you can like call like a done or a finalized method. Anyway, that's it. If you do want to see more like design patterns. Maybe I can cover those in some videos. I think they are pretty fun to talk about, but that's about it. Have a good day and happy coding.